Hi there, welcome to this channel. My name is Pam and I do lots of DIYs and random videos. Stacy, Stacy Masha was asking what do you do if the thread ends and you're in the middle of a line. So I'll show you that and how to mix colors when you're using this method. So I'm just going to show you those two. So for instance, you want this red at the center and gray at the rest of the mat. I like finishing the patterns first, the small parts where you need a different color, then I do the rest of the mat. If you don't know how to um, do this, you can watch my previous videos. So. So this is where your line ends, so you're just going to end here and begin the next line. So you continue going like that, that from this end to this end, like that, like that, like that, until you finish, you finish this. going to assume this was our pattern right okay if you see some things here this is just dye i just dyed my hair yesterday so that's why i have dye on my hands so you're just going to trim these ones so let's assume this part is not there so this is the mat that you're supposed to be doing so we're just going to fill up these areas now. As you can see my thread is almost ending so this is what you do. You assume that you have finished at that point and then you start again from you see here this is where you have tied your knot so you continue from here you tie a knot here another knot as you begin you begin from here and continue until you finish So if you're doing a real real mat, you would have already like done your edges like the way I did in the previous video. So it shouldn't be a problem. So the best thing to do is always to do the edges first and then you start the mat. So you keep going, keep going like that. When you get to this point you can always go like this. Or you can decide to go the long route, but you always want your back to go in the same direction. You don't want others going this way, this way. So I just prefer you be patient and go with the flow. The direction you choose to go with, just go with the flow till you finish your mat. how it looks you'll also fill out this other side here so depending on your pattern and how you want your mat to look like then when you're done you're just going to trim the excess threads 
that so basically this is how it will look like and it's very nice about getting out see I'm trying to pull it's not coming out see the people who are saying the knots are loose this is me pulling like really pulling it's not coming out so I think you should make your threads longer so that it is not weak to be pulled out easily because see like see literally see yeah so please just make the threads longer so that you don't have that problem otherwise thank you for watching this video that is it for today's video so you can play around draw letters and fill them in and stuff like that so yeah until the next video yeah okay let me just pick my camera and show you until the next video bye guys